So updating builds for 2020. We are really cruising now. This is video number 15 out of 21. If you're interested, then these are the ones that have already been done. <sighs> Rogue Grinder, Anarchist, Hacker, Sociopath, Kingpin, Burglar, Hitman, Stoic, Ex-President, Muscle, Crew Chief, Gambler, and Sicario. For continuity purposes, basically, Payday 2 is being updated again. I'm making up-to-date builds for all 21 perk decks. Holy shit. These are all Death Sentence 1 Down difficulty builds, playing less than that and you're a pussy. Each build will have some crossovers, or will have Inspire and Nine Lives Aced. Painkiller's Aced is not better than Quicks Fixed Aced facts. Each build will be using Max Infamy with a video on screen and linked in the description. Going to try and use some different weapons to accentuate the builds and make them fun. Not every build will have the Isma shotgun, even though I would like them to. All builds will have been tested for at least two minutes in order to validate my claims. I will give some playstyle ideas and some map suggestions where the build may find you more success. Click like if you like this video and subscribe if you are new. So the perk deck in this video will be Crook. You could say that by hook or by crook, we will try to make this deck work on death sentence, but the only word we need to use that rhymes with crook is fuck, and holy fuck is this a bad one. I'll preface this build with a disclaimer of sorts. Of course, as part of the 21 perk deck series, holy sh yeah, 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 we have to enter into the bad ones. Sadly, there are bad ones and then there's crook. Now, don't get me wrong, on lower difficulties, I believe crook can be more fun than other perks, but as far as this difficulty, well, it gets stranded on its own own island with no canoe and no hope of rescue. Let me begin with the logic here. Crook positions itself into an already busy dodge category. Well, I guess it wasn't that busy when it was introduced, but regardless, it sits in the category with a respectable 45 dodge with all criteria met and skills supporting it. What Crook's second fiddle is, is less of a draw, and that is armor. So the deck is essentially an armor dodge deck. In other newer dodge perks like Hacker and Sicario, those both offer a viable second string for its supporting band. However, the extra armor for Crook just doesn't cut it. It grants extra dodge dodge and armor for wearing a ballistic vest but comes up short when it comes to the point of this. We all know by now that the primary enemy on death sentence hits you for a good 225 hit points when they get you, so for any armor increase to be worthwhile it needs to put us over this number or we're just wasting our time and effort with the whole thing. Sadly even with the heaviest ballistic vest and all skills attached the max armor we can reach is 175.5. For the lightweight ballistic vest it's 136.5 and for the regular ballistic vest it's 156. All of these are of course one shot armor breaks from our friendly SWAT crew and all of those are using Iron Man Basic, which when crafting the build out is probably not worth getting but instead using that for weapon skills. The two-piece suit has 20 armor which is also just a one-shot hit. So get the same armor survivability whether I wear a suit or ballistic vest, well if that's the case then I may as well just get 60 dodge instead of 45 by running rogue. At least with rogue I can switch weapons faster and have a 25% armor penetration chance also. The other part of this is that by using a ballistic vest to get the dodge portion of the deck activated it also affects your concealment, meaning you are a little more restricted when it comes to weapon choices in order to activate Sneaky Bastard, or you have to further spend 8 more points on Sneaky Bastard Ace to open up more weapon choice. I feel bad shitting on this perk deck, I really do, as I love the idea of an armor dodge deck. It's a great idea and it fits in nicely with the rank and file of other dodge decks, but the amount of armor it offers is just, well, it's wank. In fact, it's worse than wank, it's total shite. What I would love to see would be a true armor dodge deck, maybe reduce the dodge to 40, but allow our armor to be 225 or above with fast regen or have a faster cooldown on a skill similar to Bullseye. The only silver lining for this deck is the lower difficulties where enemies hit you for far less damage. Then you get 45 dodge and the ability to tank a few shots. Death sentence you get 45 dodge and an armor stat that I wouldn't wipe my ass with. Well anyways here's a quick look at the deck and then the build you will not use on death sentence. So the deck itself is kind of sneaky as it gives you 40 dodge which makes you think you can actually get 50 dodge with sneaky bastard. Well you're wrong as equipping the armor has dodge penalties. The lightweight ballistic vest gets reduced by 5, regular ballistic by 10 and heavy ballistic by 15. So the dodge maxes for those in that order are 45, 40 and 35. Along with these dodge increases comes armor increases as mentioned before, here in the form of 65%. Finally the last part of this is a 10% armor recovery rate for good measure. Okay, into the armor, weapons, and skills. For armor, take your pick. Ballistic, lightweight ballistic, or heavy ballistic vests. I already gave you the armor maximums for each one of these, so pick your poison. Personally, I'm sticking with the lightweight vest for speed and concealment. The throwable is a concussion for help with objectives and getting out of trouble spots, and melee something buzzy to stop charging cloakers in their tracks. 
weapons. Well, if you're going to run a subpar perk deck, you're going to need some help in the weapon department. So go for gold here if you want. I'm throwing some shotgun skills here on this build as some of them are super concealable and fun to use. By all means, equip the Isma, but I'm going for the Raven, an old favourite of mine and pretty solid with the right skills and attachments. I do sacrifice one dodge point by choosing the long barrel but gain four extra ammo in the mag, eight accuracy and two stability so it's a decent trade-off. For the secondary, a judge with either HE rounds or the fun to use Dragon's Breath rounds, both equipped like this. For skills in the Mastermind, the usual fare, skills all the way up to Inspire Ace in order to shout our teammates up, Joker skills for the movement and health increase along with the killing enemy help, then it's Hostage Taker Ace for the passive health regen from our Jokers. Onto Enforcer and it's the shotgun skills I mentioned, Underdog Basic, CQB and Close By Ace for reload and rate of fire increases, and finally Overkill Basic for the 75% damage increase after the initial shotgun kill. In the centre lane, it's Resilience Ace for Flashbang Resistance, then Die Hard and Bullseye Basic. Die Hard Ace would give us an extra 20 armour here, but to be honest, what's the point? That 20 armour ain't doing shit, so why bother? Over to Ghost and we take the regular Triangle of Fun in order to unlock Sneaky Bastard and the 10 dodge. Duck and Cover, Parkour and Inner Pockets, all Ace for movement speed, stamina increases, ability to run and reload, 10 dodge when sprinting, and finally Concealment Boost for our melee and Ballistic Vest. The 10 dodge we unlock from Sneaky Bastard Basic pushes us up to 45, or in my case 44, as I sacrifice the one with the long barrel on my Raven. We then take our concealment path over to Low Blow Basic, granting us the critical hit chances on our Judge and Raven shotguns, grabbing the non-target chance and second wind skills on the way. Finally, in Fugitive, we grab 9 lives ace as we are still trying to play on Death Sentence 1 down here. This leaves 3 points left over, so knock yourself out. Maybe Shotgun Ore for the armor recovery, Transporter if the heist has bags, maybe even Shotgun Impact for a little more damage and the most basic of drill skills with Hardware Expert. The world is your oyster, so go nuts with the 3 points. So that's the build if you want to call it that, but in all seriousness, play this deck on lower difficulties for a lot more fun, it really is a blast. If you want to play dodge on death sentence, I have the most fun with Sicario and Hacker is a blast too. I've done my time with Rogue, hundreds if not thousands of hours with just that perk deck, so I'm kind of over it, but if you want the most dodge, that's where you need to go. If you want another better dodge perk than Crook, try Burglar. The armor regen when crouching is awesome and still has the same amount of dodge as Crook. Anyways, there you go. Now I'm going to jump into a heist and show this puppy in action.